Welcome back in just two months, under, just under two months, thousands of people will make their way to Wilkes Community College in Wilkesboro for Merle Fest. It is the 36th year for the festival, which also serves as a fundraiser for the community college. And Wes Whitson is the festival director and he's joining us here in the studio this morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. We're glad you're here. This is busy time. It is. It's a little busy, but we're excited. We're excited for you all. And for those who are new to the area uh, and have never been before, tell them what Merle Fest is. Well, Merle Fest is one of the uh, largest Americana Roots music festivals in the country, and it happens right here in uh, Wilkes County at Wilkes Community College. And it's got roots, obviously, in the heart of, of honoring um, Merle Watson. And, and so let's talk about that and why that has kind of been the springboard for all these other artists who get to come in and perform as well. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that question. It's a, it's a fascinating history with Merle Watson and his father, Doc Watson, the famous folk musician. They were a part of the beginning of this festival years ago, inviting all their famous friends to come play, and it just grew. It started in 1988, and, uh, and again, we're one of the biggest festivals in the country, and it's all thanks to uh, Doc and Merle Watson and those folks that got us started years ago. So you've been a little busy getting ready for this year. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just what little are you guys bit. looking forward to the most for this year? No, no, this year, I, I really have to say our lineup is just amazing out of this world. We've got the Old Crow Medicine Show on Thursday night, Turnpike Troubadours, Teskey Brothers, um, uh, also um, Nickel Creek and uh, Lucas Nelson, Promise of the Real. And we have 12 stages, so there's like over 80 artists, so uh, I'm definitely leaving a few out there. But our, our lineup is just amazing. Can't wait for folks to come and enjoy. And you and I were just talking a moment ago uh, before we came back on air. The um, It's really a family-friendly event. Talk a little bit about the things that um, are there set up so that if you wanted to bring the kids out as well, what that looks like. Absolutely. It definitely is a family-friendly event. Um, Mer Merle Fest is alcohol-free. That's part of those traditions that were set in place years ago. But we've got food vendors that are all local nonprofits. This isn't standing in line for food trucks. These are nonprofits raising money, so they're cooking up all types of stuff. There's a kids area and a kids stage. We call it the little picker stage with kids activities uh, there and programming for kids, jugglers, um, tons and tons of shops and uh, craft vendors there. So there's something for everybody at Merle Fest. And we pride ourselves on, on being a, a well-run event and a, and a very safe environment. And on giving back. Talk about how the festival oh, yeah. also gives back to the community. Yes, I heard you ladies talking about um, fulfilling needs earlier this morning, and that's exactly what we do with Merle Fest. All that we do there is to raise money for the students and the community um, there at Wilkes Community College. So all the proceeds go back to the students. And again, there's all those other groups and student clubs are there raising money for their different clubs by selling uh, water and sodas. So um, it's a it's a great way to get involved with something um, that's just really a feel good event and uh, a fun way to give back to your community. Indeed, it's at the end of April. I want to put the information on your screen if you want to learn more because uh, tickets are on sale now. So um, you can get them on Merle's Fest website. It is at Wilkes Community College as uh, Wes mentioned, um, April 25th to the 28th, um, ticket ranges. What does that typically run somebody for the festival, Wes? Um, tickets, uh, single day tickets start around 80 bucks and uh, you can do single and multi-day there. You can also volunteer your time, about four hours of time gets you free admission to the festival. That's another way to get involved with, with things. If, if you'd rather not spend the money for the ticket that day, you can definitely get involved and volunteer to give back a different way. And you're still signing up those volunteers right Absolutely. now? Absolutely, yeah. Go to our website, merlefest.org. You can find information there to, to, uh, to uh, get involved. Looking with. forward to a yeah. big year. Like you said, lots of artists, for those who don't know, Old Crow Medicine Show actually wrote and sang the original version of Wagon Wheel. That's which true. Which is very yeah. cool. And like you said, oh, so many other great bands that are going to be there. So we'll have that listed with the website on the QC Life website. Wes, thank you so much for being here. Oh, man, I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Kristen, getting ready to rock out. We'll send it over to you. Oh, it's going to be so much fun.